a video in forever. Today I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and they were talking about um, like the, uh, ghost stories, paranormal experiences, and I was like, I have never personally seen a ghost, but I've had like two experiences that were a little wacky to me. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first one that happened when I was, I was about 11 or 12. It, it, it was so weird, okay. So, I was, there's like a creek by my house. I was hanging out with like my dad coached a baseball team and all the kids were around my age. At the creek, there was a bunch of like food and there was like a bunch of cakes and fruits and all this stuff and it was like so weird. I don't know why it was there. So, us just being kids, kids that, you know, we were 11, 12 years old, we decided to throw it all in the water. I don't know why, we just did. Like, oh look, it's cakes. And these were like homemade cakes, like you can tell they were in like the, um, like the aluminum pans and it said Mother Lakashmi on it. I don't know to this day who Mother Lakashmi is. I just know that before we went there, there were a bunch of people dressed up and like, I think they were African. They were dressed up in like, like very vibrant color dresses and like, like these hats that you don't usually see people wearing and um, it just, I don't know, it looked African to me. I, I think I think that's what it was. And then they had put out all those things and then they left and then we just decided to take everything. I don't know, it was like really mean. We shouldn't have done that. And I'll tell you why. We took all the cakes, we threw it in the water, all the fruits, all the everything. We just tossed it in the water. And then um, nothing happened. Everything was fine. Later that night though, that's when everything got weird. The next day, all the boys were telling me and my sister their stories. Like this one kid said his little brother got up in the middle of the night and started screaming. He said his basketball fell like off of something started rolling out of the room. This one kid said his bedroom door opened. And this is all like, you know, we're all children. So I don't know if like I'm believing everything. I just know what happened to me. And I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. It was just like super strange because it was something that I felt, you know, like, um, it, it, I was really scared to fall asleep that night. You know, I had hours went by. I had already forgot that we threw the cakes in the water and everything. Something very, like a very, very, very strong presence in my bedroom. Couldn't sleep. My sister was like sound asleep, and I was just up. Like I was really, really scared. So I, I started playing my Game Boy, and I had like uh, I had a Game Boy light attached to it. So every time like I felt something, I, I would feel it at the corner of the room by the door. So I kept looking at the door. I didn't see anything, and then I'm like dozing off. It's, I'm dozing off probably like three in the morning. I'm just dozing off, and I'm <laughs> I scared myself basically, because um I'm holding the Game Boy, and then I just like the only thing the only thing that the light is shining on is my hand. So I got up and I was like ah, <laughs> like, I freaked out. I was scared of my own hand basically. Like what the fuck? But then like I swear I thought I saw like a like a shadow figure by the door. And that was it, like I just I didn't sleep that night. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like maybe somebody passed away and maybe that was like an offering and that was like a ritual or something that they were doing and we totally, totally, totally disrespected what they did. And I think about it now and I feel really bad about it actually. A couple years later, uh, I went to the creek and it happens every year. I still see like offerings and I still see like food and stuff at the creek, I still see like aluminum trays of food and fruits and fork like plastic forks and stuff and I do not touch it I leave it alone you know like I, I just leave it alone <laughs> next story was actually recent this was three years ago um Halloween uh, the next morning Halloween um Julio and I we slept at my friend Jessica's house now if you know Jessica she's into witchcraft she's into like a lot of things. <laughs> okay, so I was sleeping there, and like, we like passed out on the floor in her bedroom. I was sleeping next to a wooden box. You know, you don't think anything of it. The night before, I was like, oh, you got, because it was a, some my chemical romance on it. It was like some special edition thing, and I was like, oh, you got the MCR box. I open it, and there's like black candles, and there's like a whole bunch of ritual things. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'll close that up. So, whatever. We had fun, fell asleep. Um, the next morning, I could have sworn somebody was vacuuming. 
brought it up to Jessica like hours later when everybody woke up. I said, Jessica, was somebody vacuuming? And she was like, no. And I was like, I could have sworn I heard somebody vacuuming. I heard it, like I heard like some kind of like electronic device or something. It was just like really, really close to me. And she was like, no, nobody was vacuuming. It was the craziest thing because like, I, I know I heard it in my sleep, but then like I remembered not only did it sound like somebody was vacuuming, it sounded like somebody went right in my face, like shh. And I heard something, like it was just like, get out. I swear till this day, something said get out. So I told Jessica and she was just like, what? She was like kind of weirded out by it. She was like, what, that's weird. Like, you know, like anybody would react like what? What the hell? So I don't know if like that was my dream, but it woke me up. I don't know if it has to do with like, I opened up her black magic box or I don't know I don't know I have no idea but it, it was it was creepy that's the only uh, paranormal experience that I have ever had so I've experiences that I've ever had um, I've never seen a ghost knock on wood because I don't want to that's it <laughs> I don't know I just I really liked watching these ghost stories on YouTube so I thought I'd just sh I share mine and hopefully those are the only ghost stories that I will ever have. So see you next time.